This is a lesson on relating fractions to decimals. So these are the key points that we are going to learn today. We're going to learn about um, how fractions with denominators of 10 and 100 can be written as decimals. I'm pretty sure you learned this in previous years, but that's one thing we'll look at. The next thing is fractions that do not have a denominator of 10 or 100 can be written as decimals if an equivalent fraction can be found that has a denominator of 10 or 100. So if I can change a fraction so that the bottom number is 10 or 100 by multiplying, then I can turn it into a decimal. And lastly, <clears throat> we'll learn that um, zeros that are to the right of a decimal do not change the value. So this is an example, and we're not going to look at this too in depth after, but this is one thing that you need to know, is that 0 0.5 is exactly the same as 0 0.50. Because it's after. Now if there was a 0 in between the decimal and the 5, then that would make a difference. But since it's at the very end, it's like putting de uh, zeros onto the left of a number. It doesn't change it. Same thing over here, 0 0.7 is the same thing as 0 0.70. Okay, so let's look at the connect. Um, it says, this is Madeline's flower garden. So I've got, um, here's a rose, and this is where the roses are planted. This is where the tulips are planted right there. Uh, the lilies are in this dark zone. And the daisies are in the white part. And so the purpose of this section is to show you um, equivalent fractions. Okay, so over here we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 across and 10 down. So that means that I have 100 squares total. Okay, um, so this is the 100 underneath each of these. That's where, the, where that was from. And then the boxes, the total boxes for each type of flower is written in the numerator on top. Okay, so, so this one is roses. So I went 5 down, 5 across. Uh, that's 25, or I could count up each square. So that's 25 over 100. Now, um, if you know your money really well, you would know that it takes four quarters to make a dollar, and each quarter is worth 25 cents. This is how I think about this easily to know that this uh, can be an equivalent fraction for 1 over 4. I could also find this by dividing 100 by 25 and dividing 25 by 25 to get 1 over 4. So 1 quarter of the garden planted is roses. Now you can see that the tulips are the same size, so again, 25 over 100, which I could make an equivalent fraction by dividing both numbers by 25 to get 1 quarter. And then over here, the lilies, these are 3 by 10, so 3 times 10 is 30. So that means that we have 30 right here, 30 out of 100. And now I could... Um, Divide both 30 and 100 by 10. So we're basically knocking off this top zero and this zero right here to make 3 out of 10 so because I divided both by 10, right? Um, and then that would be an equivalent fraction. So I have 3 tenths of the garden is lilies, and that leaves uh, 21 hundredths as daisies, or I could reduce this, I could divide both of these by uh, 20. So 20 divided by 20 is 1, and 100 divided by 20 is 5. You might find this in more steps by dividing by 2 over and over again, whichever way works. Okay, so this is just showing equivalent fractions. Now, we're going to need to get really good at turning fractions into um, having denominators of 100 or 10, whichever is closer and easier. Okay, 
So here's some examples of doing that. We've got 3 over 10, or we could say 3 tenths. And to write that as a decimal, um, since we have a 10 right here, and we have a single digit, then that means that I just imagine the denominator has disappeared, and I put a decimal right in front of the 3. So it turns into 0 0.3. Now below, I've got a 100 as my denominator and 15 on top. Now you'll notice that um, the first one here, there was the same number on top as there are zeros in the denominator. And same with down here, same number of zeros as in the numerator. So I am going to, um, I think I said that wrong up here. Same number of zeros as in the numerator up here. Sorry. Um, anyways, so that means that I can just get rid of this denominator and put a decimal right in front of the 1 with the 0 in front of it. So 0 0.15 would be the decimal for 15 over 100 or 15 hundredths. And same thing on the bottom here. We've got 25 over 100 or 25 hundredths. And I could write this, again, getting rid of the decimal or getting rid of the fraction and putting a decimal instead of in front of the 25. And that would be my decimal. So it's really straightforward when the, the number of digits on the top matches the number of zeros on the bottom. Okay, and then you can also use money to write some fractions as decimals. So um, if I wanted to know how much oh, excuse me, four tenths of a dollar is, I could write this as a decimal by dropping off the denominator and putting a zero because uh, my numerator digits match the number of zeros. Um, and then in money, we never write money like this because that could get mistaken for four cents, but we actually want 40 cents. So that's when it, money is a situation when it's important to put that zero after. Even though it really means the same thing, that I have four tenths of a dollar, um, this is just the way that you would write it is 0 0.40 or 40 cents. And that might look like this. I could have um, four dimes to make that. Now over here, we've got three quarters of a dollar. And uh, fix that. And now you could think of this as quarters like I did above. So I know that quarters are each worth 25 cents and there are four in a dollar. Now I have three in a dollar, so I could think of that as 75 cents or 0 0.75. Okay, as a fraction over 100, that would look like this, 75 over 100. So, um, one last part before we practice. So, it says... For some fractions, we can write an equivalent fraction with a denominator of 10 or 100. We can then write the fraction as a decimal. So here's an example here. We've got one, oh, my mouse is disappearing. One, two, three, four, five sections, and three are colored. So that gives us three out of five. Now we can write three out of five with a denominator of 10 because we always know that 5 times 2 equals 10. So as long as I multiply 3 by 2 as well, then I can make it an equivalent fraction. So I would go 3 over 5, from right there, times 2, both top and bottom, because that's what we need to do to 5 to make it 10. Okay, so 3 times 2 is 6, and 5 times 2 is 10. Now I can turn this into um, a decimal because since I have 6 is the same number of digits as there are zeros in 10, that means I can drop off the denominator, put a decimal in front, and a 0 before that. So 6 over 10 is 6 tenths or 0 0.6. 
So 3 over 5 and 0 0.6 are equivalent. And I also put this on, and so is 0 0.60. Now, you wouldn't write this um, normally unless you were talking about money. This would be the more standard way to write um, 0 0.6. All right, so we've got the practice here. We, you have three fractions to turn into decimals, and then you have a picture here that you need to turn into a fraction and also a decimal. So pause the video and play again when you're ready to see the answers, and that would be when you are done. Okay, so I started you out easy. So first you have four tenths. So to write that, I drop off my... Uh, uh oh, there we go. I drop off my denominator and put zero decimal in front of the four. So I get zero decimal four. Next up, I've got 88 over 100. Again, I've got two zeros on the bottom and two digits on the top. So I can just cross off my denominator, put a decimal. I will put it in the answer space though. 0 decimal 88. Eight. Notice I didn't say 88. You only would say 88 if the decimal was not here, if it was actual 88. But in the form of decimal, you would just say 0 0.88 because it's different from 88. Okay, now the last one, you needed to find an equivalent fraction. Because two fifths isn't, you cannot just drop off the denominator and write to 0 0.2. That won't work. So, what you need to do is either turn this 5 into 10 or 100. Now, I know 5 times 2 equals 10, so I'm going to multiply both the top and bottom by 2 to give myself a nice uh, even number of. 10 being the denominator, so 2 times 2 is 4, so that makes this uh, decimal going to be, I'll drop off the denominator, put a 0 in front with a decimal after it, and I'll get 0 0.4. So you'll notice that this C and A are the same, but they looked different in the beginning. Okay, and here's the last one. So we have to write this as a fraction and a decimal. So first thing, when I saw this, I saw, whoops, these dark lines that apparently I can't draw straight. Um, so, and that's one, two, three, four quadrants, and three are colored in. So I would, I would first write three over four as a fraction. I'm guessing you didn't do that, though. I'm guessing you got 75 over 100. Now, those are both correct. Um, you'd have to turn it into this one anyways after because we need our decimal. So we cross off that uh, denominator, put the decimal, and our decimal would turn into 0 0.75. It's a pretty simple con concept. Don't complicate it too much. This is about as far as it gets right now. Um, but make sure that you know your equivalent fractions. That's where you might get caught. Your lesson is at the bottom of your page underneath that question we just did, right there. It's on page one, 178 to 179, numbers 1 and then 4 to 9.